for all U.S. citizens. All my sympathies with you. If you are listening and following to these words of wisdom, I definitely say you are protected. All that you have to tell your friends in USA is tune into this channel every day and preferably live and you, your family, friends. And I can definitely tell you, I'm simply following whatever I've been teaching. You are 100% you are protected. That is a legacy of the protection given by the lineage of the teachers and the gurus. The greatness is of, not of mine, but the greatness of those gurus, which in the present world, which doesn't recognize more than a one teacher or two teachers above, it has forgotten the legacy, lineage, what Patanjali talks about. So I've been talking about the qualities of a teacher and why Shankaracharya loves his uh, teacher's lotus feet and his lotus souls and is explaining. This is a very powerful way of getting protection because these are the same words given by Shankaracharya. The words given by Buddha, the words as given by Yajnavalkya, the words as given by the Patanjali, the words as given by, as heard, as given by Shankaracharya, those words and every word has that level of knowledge. When you say E is equal to MC square, every word, every letter in it has the mind and the brain and entire understanding of Albert Einstein. If you are at that level of Albert Einstein and what he intended to convey and simply by reading E is equal to MC square, you will understand. So if E is equal to MC square has changed the way today the world functions, all the gadgets what we have, Simply the credit goes to the E is equal to MC square. It's all about conservation of energy, conservation of mass. It's all about law of relativity in different ways you can talk about it. But at the end, that has opened the doors for the extraterrestrial exploration to satellites to and the present science to nuclear fusion reaction to, nuclear fusion reaction to, it changed the way the world experiencing the comforts and by which we are experiencing the disease and you know why our
you can say because the law of relativity it is it is with respect to the position of the object and the position of the observer you know it is all about observer and you should understand when observer is there it is behaving like a particle that's why albert einstein law of relativity works because he didn't say in app is entire law is based on observer and once you observe any elementary particle it starts behaving like particle it doesn't behave like a wave then how come how come albert einstein think in absence of observer and how this particle is behaving that is that is not his theory at all so in absence of the observer and then the wavery nature of electron is called quantum physics though quantum physics has evolved but can anyone say even today say a electron a double split experiment and when electrons are being shot through two windows and you will find multiple lines that's called that is an indication so these micro particles are elementary particles are behaving like these viruses behave like a wave they go wherever they want wherever they want to cause a damage uncontrolled behavior in any way is a damage uncontrolled behavior of virus is a problem now uncontrolled what is a virus it is made up of uncontrolled a protein it uncontrolled electrons if you observe it will say track but who observes if you only observe 24 by 7 your breath and that virus can't enter inside or and it it gets it, it loses its power simply observe all the time with the breath observer collapses the wave interference or wave function i'm just explaining and even today okay which electron choose to go into which line and can quantum physics as on date explain it can't explain it can't explain what albert einstein law of relativity can explain with respect to a behavior of a particle and with respect to wavery nature of a particle even as and date heisenberg uncertainty law relative uncertainty law or principle or probability you apply any theories with those theories we are perhaps we are evolving little bit of quantum computers but still quantum computers are not really quantum as you say the world is a quantum but still the operator is you know so operating it so some program is operating electron no there is a program electron behaves properly so it is not quantum behavior we cannot say it's a quantum computer quantum computer is without program if the computer runs and then it's called quantum computer because electrons are too intelligent now the research shows it even can study the program any program written to observe it to control it to observe it it behaves properly it behaves like a particle it doesn't behave like a wave why am i telling you this it is very simple to deny albert einstein there's no one to deny albert einstein law and laws of laws of newtonian I, they are eternal and the laws of jesus the laws of prophet they only postulated the laws of nature different vocabulary and they have experienced it without instruments and with the power of the microscopic power of the mind they have experienced the highest level of singularity removing the duality and they have become what all they taught us is and observe observe mindfulness observe yourself observe inside observer outside produces the disease and produces it shatters you observation inside changes you because you are a bundle of the same particle same elementary particle same energy phenomena and that operates everything in the universe and the same laws of nature are applied to you 
gods were dharma. The same laws of nature apply to you. And if you go on dissolving this nature, the way it evolved, if you go on dissolving these elements, grass to settle, 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 and this, because you have a dark energy, you have a dark matter, everything what you are made up of, your system is capable of and going to that stage of, from where a matter, nama and rupa, mind and energy is born, consciousness and consciousness, uh, energy and matter is born and you can go back to that level. Why am I telling you? You can't change Newtonian principle called F is equal to MA. You know, a theory of momentum, you can't change law of momentum as given by Newton. And similarly, you can't change Albert Einstein law of relativity. So also, this, like we can't change those words, and similarly, you can't change the words in yoga of a yogi, a word given by Yajna Valkya, a word given by the Buddha, and a word given by Krishna, a word given by Vyasa, and a word given by Shankaracharya, and that word has, it is un, you can't change the word. All that I can do is, and I can explain what is E is equal to MC square for you to understand. But I can't change those words. What all I can do is, I can just chant these words, but I can't change the words. I can only explain it for you. Why? Because the power is in the E, in M, in C. The power is force, mass, acceleration, M1, V1, M1, V1 in plus M, M2, V2, mass and velocity, and gives the momentum. I can't change, no one attempted to change it, then why are we trying to not even understand F is equal to M E or E is equal to M C square, everyone is practicing yoga, but and when you will understand Einstein, when you experience it, when you experiment it, when you experience it, how have we, how, why, why Newton's law of relativity is, why Newton's law of mass is a still relative? While Newton's law of momentum is still relative, it is still applicable. Why are we practicing? Because they are again and again experimented, experienced. These words you will only understand when you experiment and when you experience. And then, then you will understand I am the power of, power of silence, the power of the word, power of the word, power of the word. Why Kumar is chanting this? These are the direct words of Shankaracharya. How lucky for you to listen. How lucky for us it is not deleted since the 8th century still these are preserved. How lucky we are still the words of Jesus as it is if they are preserved. And if the words of prophet as it is, if they are preserved in whatever the language he has given, nothing can equal into it. The Urdu language has no relevance. If it is given in Persian, if it is given in Arabic, that Arabic only has that. Of course, the translation, but it's not as powerful as. So also, so also. You may be studying in Persian E is equal to mc square, but you still say E is energy, M is mass, C is velocity of the light, the meaning doesn't change. You use, use the same word in your own language. That's all. You know. So also, when Shankar, the words of the Vyasa, the words of Yatnya Valkya, the words of a Nath Gurus, Garanda Sanghita, Garanda, or Kapalikas, those words indicate at what level they are. Like so many fundamental principles of science are available today. And each scientist we remember. So also the different levels, different applications. So also in yoga, when you read a Hatha Yoga mantras, you can see the level of that Nath Guru and who is obsessed with the powers. 
the one who is not enlightened also you can see for example when you read a shiva sanhita and that you can see that is a typical tantra practitioner written by the kapalikas bhairavas kapalikas are the next generation the first generation after the shiva the one who protected the legacy of yoga are called bhairavas and then there is a manifestation and over a period of time they are called kapalikas and it is one of the kapalika chanda kapali the one who has given the science of shiva sanhita like goraknath so when you say now present chief minister of uttar pradesh in india he is a monk and he is the young monk at that age and he is he is, he is leading the uh, uttar pradesh as chief minister i can tell you for the first time the up and every and when you look at the caste politics over there and you law and order over there the most difficult state of the rapes ragging and the maximum number of rapes ragging the racism and the maximum amount of these things and you will find in that state but and now the present chief minister you should observe and so he is a yogi he is a yogi adityanath yogi adityanath is a chief minister and you do you know from where he comes he comes from gorakhpur gorakhpur is for why it is called like gorakhpur because the saint so a legacy of goraknath goraknath the one who has given one of the hatha yoga texts called goraksha sanhita goraksha shataka there are hundreds of the books available the same shataka in it little bit manipulations but the goraknath so famous entire north eastern belt of the kings is a guru for them the kings especially if you go to the nepal entire nepal when you look at the baktipur when you look at the architecture of the pashupati nath or when you look at entire architecture of the nepal and its cities four cities and you will see who has designed these cities because himalayan terrain as you know is very subtle and it is prone to earthquakes and the king and is the king guru is goraknath and blindly and you know and goraknath where he is a samadhi or where is where he is a temple in india there is no so for goraknath and in in nepal you will find exclusive places constructed for goraknath by the nepal kings and the entire go nepal kingdom kings they followed the legacy of the goraknath and that's why and it has become so famous even today materialistically because goraknath is a tantra practitioner he is not a vaidik practitioner he is a tantra practitioner you know so he is like any nath guru has a full of powers of the mind he can disappear he can appear and so he can see the future he can read the minds of the people and you can see that he is not vedic sampradaya it he is not a vaidik sampradaya so the words of goraknath when you read you will understand what goraknath is all about i so shiva sanhita is like goraknath comes from the same family the same traditions of the nath guru after kapalikas came nath gurus or you can call from bhairavas to kapalikas all nath sampradaya only and not so the one who protected the yoga which you crave the asanas and the practice of the chakras for the powers and the healing techniques based on the powers and that legacy goes into mahakashyapa and the legacy goes into nath gurus that legacy goes into and kapalikas so shiva sanhita when you read and it talks about the power of a mantra it's all about a power of one mantra you know that only one mantra entire shiva sanhita is all about a powerful mantra and and it is clearly written when you chant that mantra and how powerful you become if you read bhagavad gita it won't talk like that if you read vedanta it won't talk like that if you read patanjali what transformation comes in you they will talk about what expected changes in you bhagavad gita talks about 
But when you read Shiva Sanghita, it doesn't talk about how powerful you will become, how angels love you or form, and you know how they like you, how they fall in love with you, and how you can rule this world, how you can become a magic tantric. And even today that craziness is there. So should I follow? Yes, I followed Goraknath tradition. I followed all the tradition. That's why I can tell you authentically the practices of Hatha Yoga, not simply a Shambhavi Mudra here, but there's so hundreds of the mudras. Brahmari Mudra is more powerful than the Shambhavi Mudra. And Brahma Randra Mudra, Brahma Mudra, Kapalika Mudra is more powerful than the Shambhavi Mudra. Angili Mudra, Kechari Mudra is more powerful than any of these mudras. These are all Tantra mudras. You know, I used to teach in the beginning, but they are not good. They are meant for a mediocre mentality. They are meant for a mean mentality because they boost your testosterone. Today, like we go crazy about the gym, which is 3000 years back, and you know, it is exercise for the soldiers, for the fighters. Gymnasiums constructed by the Greeks. And that's how the gym has come. It is clear, it is for the soldiers. I have not invented anything. When I say all this modern fitness is like a tantra practitioners. It is like to feel, to boost the testosterone, to become aggressive. Testosterone also is a concentrating hormone. But the same free testosterone can be used for you know, mating, can be used for reproduction and to attract the female. That's the danger. Because it is sexually bound, bound globins. So globin, globin, sexually bound testosterone and free testosterone The problem is your virility, your capacity to mate, your capacity to concentrate is dependent on the free testosterone. To maintain free testosterone in India, it is emphasized until your marriage and strict celibacy and no Maithana Charya, no physical and no physical and indulgence of intercourse. If the reason is the free testosterone should be used for his concentration so that he can come up in the life. And once he settled in the carrier, then only he should get married, then only he should enter into a relationship. If it is as, as early as 16 years, 14 years, you have come out of the Gurukul and then your profession is known. And then, so at 16 years itself, he got married. And 16 years itself got married and girls hardly used to go to some. There are the, in ancient Gurukul, yes, some girls go, option. And girls who ever went and are, and at 15 years or 14 years of age, the girls married. Why is it so? Why today there are the divorces? And why today a husband and wife fights? And every child in the house they will be amazed how come their parents got married because all the time you will see in every house the, the, the pun they make, tantrums they throw and the children first thing that hey shut mom, hey, hey shut up dad and we can't stay in this house. First close your mouth. So every household this story goes on. And the children get surprised. And all the time, why this mom and dad fights like a bull? And where is the love in them? When was the love there? All the time we see the fight in them. And in grand-grandparents, have you seen that? In grand-grandparents, have you seen any kind of a divorce? There is no word of divorce. Then why? Now the more divorces, because more advanced. Because at a young age, before even your testosterone and pubic, the moment you attain your pubic age, your pubic hair, 
your pubic age or the puberty when you attain your pubic age when secondary sexual characteristics start developing before that itself sexual inclinations are already there now as young as a six year old boy you see who taught the pup and to look for another pup for female pup opposite pup who taught this bacteria to and to look for another bacteria and which taught ant to mate with another ant so see, the moment the child is born he is sexually active whether he is a female female is active but by birth estrogen is in only born a child a boy or a child a boy or a girl both of them having only estrogen this is trend developed later understand so estrogen predominate we are born as a female only there is no male because the genitals we call it as a female but the hormone there is only one hormone called estrogen and then slowly and the ego hormone start developing called testosterone and the moment these genitals are created and this attraction this self seeking attention seeking starts as young as one month baby two months baby three months baby four months baby still they can sense who is a male who is a female a lot of studies done understand it is not that sexual feeling begins at the only after attaining the pubic at that age organs are developed and so that uh, you are another immortality called germ immortality germ cells become active means your reproductive cells become active and your hormones are set in motion so that you become eligible to give a birth that is the second immortality it is called first immortality is when you are born invariably all of us we have this immortality continuing that's why there are the 8 billion population in the human humans are multiplying and human race is not vanishing it is become immortal this is called immortality every cell looks for to be immortality in order to look for immortality and what it is does it multiplies why corona virus is multiplying in overnight because it wants to leave its progeny and and it wants to continue its progeny it wants to be immortal the in, inner desire is immortal unless that immort desire to immortal is i love my child means i consider he is my entity my boy is mine my dna my dna and your dna is continuing called gotra a lineage you call say family of anderson or family of khan or family of sharma and family of gotra in india you look at what is that it is you are Progeny. It is your immortality, the lineage of immortality. When you say lineage, and it is, it is immortality. And today, as I tell always, you know, so you can see mRNA. If your messenger RNA is examined and called MOP test, if you undergo RNA MOP test, it will give you 500 years of. and your parental history and how healthy they are psychological physiological and mental and because you are born as a female that's why it is examined for 500 years for 22 years today present technology if you want to get married if you want to have healthy children and before marriage or before even you fall into love with the girl a boy and girl should volunteer to give to get done their mrna test whether it is a compatible there is emotional compatibility whether there is a social compatibility cognitive compatibility and the mental compatibility physical compatibility and everything you will know you will know by the test just mean old and days say they used to say look at his seven generations that is a old and legacy and now the science is tell the same if you want to know any defect is there in that family if you want to know and how healthy they are and now the genome test will tell you and mrna test will tell you and 500 years 22 generations 500 years means in terms of science it is equal into 22 generations period now in your house and you know so i have my mother and perhaps my mother mother and then i have my child 
and my child is going to have a child, say for example my child is going to have a child and in many cases the child is also going to have a child means in my hundred years I have five generations. Understand? I have five generations. That's how and hundred years five generations means you exactly calculate five hundred years, twenty two years. This is how the generations are calculated. It is all about you say generation gap. Now you can clearly see and my, my mother to me, my mother to her mother and her mother to her mother and me to my ch child, my child to another, gr my grandchild, you can see the generation gap, enormous generation gap and if tomorrow and any of my grandchildren have to know or my children have to know if I have to know because at the time when I got married the tests were not available but today people talk about the science, people go gaga on the Google and people go on this fall in love with on the Facebook. Have you, you have no absolutely and scientific temperament, you are thinking you are a prodigy but you are dull minded. If you have any wisdom and you must choose, you know, a, a right partner, a selection, a right selection, how you will choose a right selection, go and get done and uh, you know, so ask mRNA profile and your profile you give and they will tell you whether you will, you will match or not. Your mother's side, it will give entire whether you are a boy or a girl, get done the test. Then you will know and the history of the boy will be known, the history of the girl will be known and if both are defective free or if there is any defect you can very well prepare. You can tell the girl, you say I have this problem, so and so generation, so and so problem, it was there. So I am telling you, so I may have this problem. So and so age, I may have a dementia or I may, I may, I may, will ha I may have a atrophication, muscular atrophy, I may have this problem and tomorrow I may have a cancer and tomorrow I may have this problem. Knowing that, then you will know what nutrition you have to take, it is the gene expression, what you are examining is, past gene expression and if you are a scientist, if you are a yogi, you can change the GNA expression. Why yoga? Yoga is to change your gene expression. You have to bring, why it is continuing like this, why that problem? Because the same culture, the same food habits, whether good or bad continuing, that's how the same food habits of the mother comes to the daughter and the same diabetes and parents having the diabetes, children have the diabetes. Parents have the cardiovascular disease and children have the diabetes because the generation what is passing on and I feed the same food, my mother fed the same food and my mother, mother fed the same food and I also feed the same food or dirty food. With the result what is happening? The same disease is continuing, disease is increasing. Why it is increasing? Because the food which my mother has not given, in fact I should give healthy food but I feed the junk food. I sit with the children, small children in an airport and young guys, young parents, 20, 25 year old and you know, so, yeah, their child is eating the french fries and you are eating the french fries and you are making the child to drink carbonated drink, you are also drinking the carbonated drink. Where is the matured parenting, tell me. You, you, you are decorating the child like a doll and she is like a Barbie doll for you. She is not your child. If you respect your child's freedom, you won't decorate her as a Barbie doll because she didn't ask you to decorate like that. It is our craziness. Why? Because you are trying to manipulate her gene expression not for good. You are trying to bring a bad culture. You are creating a bad program, bad culture in them. You are responsible and then tomorrow you will blame. Oh my God, my child is not listening to me. Oh my God, my child went like this. Oh my God, my child behaving like this. But have you parented the child like that? Oh my God, my child is having diabetes. Oh my God, my parent had this problem. I am also going to have this problem. Have you under, okay you know very well your grandparents have a problem, you, your parents have a problem. So have you changed your diet, have you examined it where the root cause exists and have you changed your diet, have you changed your nutrition, have you changed your exercise, have you meditated to bring, to change your gene expression. Today it is well known fact the gene expression is constantly changed. Gene cannot be changed but gene expression can be changed. And a DNA program is there. 
it is a vehicle but now with the test you will know and which dna is not functioning properly and still you can run this dna function the file which is not functioning you can't make it function but the function of the file you can do it alternate and that's called methylation this is how now the autism a autism or a down syndrome and many of the problems are addressed by by geno genomics by called so by called uh, you know geno nutrition geno nutrition and now that is going to be means yes there is a problem so by getting this test done that's why in india always they said hey look for seven generation because in in those days there is no mrna test but still the concept is existing he examined 10 generation this side 10 generation that side 15 generation this side 15 gen that's why in india they maintained always a called family tree every household is supposed to maintain even today this family tree culture is continuing in india in old families and since their gotra lineage the first one who is the saint who started it who is the yogi started it because to liberate many souls to give that freedom to and experience the permanent immortality to you know his family he started a yogi married in order to in order to for many souls to get liberated the why a saint vasishta or why these great saints they have the wives because they wanted to give the liberation to many souls the one who is first started your gotra lineage is a saint and it means he has given all of us why my gotra and why that saint has given maybe with thousands and now we we must be more than a million people represent or more than maybe 100000 people in that lineage definitely a million people in that lineage isn't it adam and you you say adam and eve isn't it so there could, there could be one male one female and then came a legacy of a you know, singularity and then call, then your lineage started in india it is clearly defined arya bharadwaja gotra arya vasishta gotra arya markandeya gotra arya pulastya gotra arya karkata gotra so many go achuta gotra what is the gotra it is to tell hey you have given me the birth i represent to you means i will be one of the family tree means i am going to get immortal my work is no, i am born as a human but now i am going to work for immortality like o saint who have given me i will be working i am so grateful to pitru devatas i am so grateful to you because of you and as a soul i don't know i have been animal and i have been all these births over now i got the human birth because of you and only to experience i understand fully that since you experience the immortality you want me to experience immortality the legacy the lineage and knowing your mrna is to become experience a singularity because you know very well what defects you are going to carry but you by knowing your vehicle your your vehicle you know very well the accelerator is not working brake pedal is not working brake pedal is not working and then something is not working and you and brake pedal has become loose and you now is a lockdown period and you there is no, everything is shut down and but you will drive carefully it's not that you won't drive you have to drive but you when you know the problem of the vehicle you and you are driving changes because to compensate that problem in yoga also when you have a problem and compensation by means of a prop or by means of changing the modification in the posture making it easy for you all those happens when you know your dna when you know your mrna that's why i said in india there is no concept of a non scientific living at all 
whatever our ancestors have given is called a family tree and 22 500 22 year 500 years of generation of the family tree and the science is telling you hey come on get done the test then only fall in love whether that girl is suitable for you or not you know her psychological mental physiological physical traits by mrna mapping that is the most scientific way of selecting a partner so that you will be healthy and and you are not harming that girl and girl is not harmed by the boy and the world becomes a good place to live it's not that simply and blindly you look at and you choose it what you are looking at on a facebook or anything package you look at a package you fall in love you have to look at the product my dear and entire world looks at the advertisement on the TV, like you know, so moral borrow advertisement has increased. Cowboy advertisement by the moral borrow has enormous, has entirely changed the cigarette industry. Everyone knows. You know. And today our selection is by and the 30 seconds or 3 seconds of advertisement. 30 seconds of advertisement. And looking at that advertisement, stimulating and taking you to and like a mantra, like a magician, he takes you into different level of conditioning. He will, what he is doing is conditioning your mind. And simply like a lame duck and we go and we buy that product. And no scientific understanding, no scientific standard, it makes you to overlook the standards. It blunts your search for the truth. All these advertisements, what they do? They block you are search for your truth. Search for your search for standards. Because if you know standards, and how come he can fool you by the advertisement? Isn't it? That's called a delusion. He creates a delusion. And by delusion, you know that looking at that advertisement, you buy Apple phone. Looking at a review. Review is nothing but a perception of a person. Why you need to hear someone's review? You can't read the specification. Why can't you understand the specification of a Apple phone or a Samsung phone or a washing machine? And you go on here, I love this person, you know, his review is very good. Listen. And you know very well that person is paid. And he's selling his perception, the company perception to you. And you know, you already you are already a dummy because you are you are already conditioned by him like you know, snake charmer he is, and you listen to him. Oh, you know, this review, you know, you know, do you know his review is so good about the product? Have you listened? It indicates how fool you are, the present generation, how foolish it is. Even on the net, when you choose, the first thing they do is reviews they read for any product. And the company itself made hundreds of the people to write the reviews. Simple. And you're reading the, you know, it got so many reviews ah, about the Dr. Kumar Yoga program. Now, how many reviews are there? You won't find any review. I don't want any reviews to be written on me. And I could have made, I can keep thousand, I can employ the people to write so many reviews. Every day I can send one person to one computer and, you know, I can generate so many positive reviews, thousands of thousand reviews. Then look, oh my God, he has so many reviews. That's how the Facebook is fooling you. That's how the Instagram is fooling you. That's how the YouTube is fooling you. That's how the, any person wants to be a star is fooling you. Do you know how much money it goes behind those advertisements? And who is fool? Because we are fool, he is there fooling. If you are not a fool, who can fool you? And we don't even realize that we are fool. And you know, you are educated, but see, you hear someone's, why well, you can't have eyes, you can't read a specification, you can't read the manual. We don't want to know the standards, you know. There's no time to know the standards. No time to know the standards, a gadget which you are going to buy. When you are going to fall in love, you don't want to know the standards of the girl. Just fall in love. Someone's review and someone's projection on a Facebook, you read and you fall in love. That's where the divorces happen. Because what you have seen is a package, not the product. And tomorrow when the product arrives, and oh my God, the attraction for the package, package has to be opened, and the product will come out. 
sooner or later and the moment the package is over and then you will look at the oh my god product inside is not good your oh boy is not good girl is not good how oh, i thought she is like an angel but actually she is a devil how come angel will become devil have you ever seen angel is angel devil is a devil your criteria of selection you are deluded thinking that catching hold of a devil as a angel and catching hold of an angel as a devil this what patanjali is telling what patanjali is telling know the standard first know the product first not the package but if you really examine entire world is going behind the package all of us we are sold by the package by the delusion by the illusion they create in the form of advertisement simply we are fooled that's why we are sheep we that's why we are called you know so we call cows we need a cowherd keeper a shepherd keeper no you don't want to be because you don't even accept the fact you are a sheep anymore you think oh i am a software engineer you see how much money i earned how come my selection will be wrong the more you earn the more fool already you have become because already you follow one person all the elite class or whoever it is they think they are the most intelligent they don't understand they are the most stupid in selection of the gurus or anything you know this where problem comes understand standard 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 anyway why i told you this why this pubic age why in india early ages marriages and someone came british came or in europeans came and came hey have you gone mad in india why you get married at the age of 8 years to 16 years have you gone mad and we really never give importance to our culture we thought all our saints are dummies because we do we are struggling for food we thought they are all the dummies we thought our culture is so inferior we made us to feel inferior and you know they we are made us to feel and someone made us to feel hey marrying you should get marry only when it 18 years or 25 years when already your ego is boosted when your adaptability is gone you know our adult intelligence is gone by the 18 years you're finished by the 8 years why children used to get married at the 8 years because still 80% cognitive development adaptability still existing in the child if you get married and the, in india between 8 years to 12 years and by the time 14 years to 16 years the marriage is over why he got married because still sexual feelings not even started sexual attraction is there but not arousal not estrogen testosterone still not predominant and then what happens this friendship and this respect and adaptability what comes is adaptability and one adjust to the other very quick as a plant you can bend it as a tree you can never bend it the psychology the emotional compatibility and the mind compatibility the physical compatibility it is not the physical compatibility what the people are interested in is behavioral compatibility if this girl has to adjust to the boy if any boy is not behaving properly in india you know what they used to tell you know any boy is doing all the naughty things any girl doing the naughty things in the young age you know what they used to say or get her married it will be set right get her married it will be set right the same thing is practiced for the cows for bulls also for buffaloes male buffaloes also you know as a farmer you know what as a farmer child and as a as a kid i used to go behind you know so i used to take all my cows all my buffaloes for grazing and you know so i know these are uh, grazing of these cows grazing of this sheep grazing of and i really used to take care of them i really used to like them i every day bathing them like anything and there used to be you know some these young cows and you know so these some naughty adolescent bulls and these adolescent you know male buffaloes or sheep buffaloes 
and I should tell you the problem is this buffalo and you know I tie it you know so in, in the shed you know so cow shed or you know the sheep shed and we have a shed we used to tie it but the thing is it breaks the, this much thick rope it breaks even steel and even steel chain it delinks the force it applies because its libidinal energies, pubic energies are very high and testosterone is very high and it, it pulls like this and then in the night what it does? It gets into other paddy fields, it gets into other crops, it goes and does rampant and it damages the crop and next day and you know then I have a music hearing from my neighbors. Hey, and it is your bull and it damaged entire my crop compensation first to bend your bull so how in India the young bulls are young buffaloes are young cows and which are not a harm are tamed then you tie you tie what you tie you tie a, a, a rope across the neck and, and to the nose and to the neck and then you hang you know a T form a T shaped you know this is a stick and this is a vertical stick it is hanging and it, it is a, a it is a rope around the you know neck of the buffalo and then when it walks when it tries to walk even because it doesn't listen to you and when it tries to walk it hits the more faster it hits, the more faster the stick beats the neck. Inflammatory program. Inflammation leads to the learning. And what we are teaching, and this brain is programmed for cogn emotional development, cognitive development, cognitive, because its emotional areas are weak. Because cortex brain is weak, and we are strengthening its cortex brain areas. And by the pain every day in face, then after, oh my God, then within no time it will learn. Oh my God, if I run, it will hit. Then after one year or two years, we will remove this. And after you removing this or that also, it doesn't jump anymore. So, whether it is, it is animal conditioning, whether it is human conditioning. And so, there are the many boys, many girls like a bull. And with the testosterone driven, and they look at every girl, the, all the rape and all the nonsense, what is as I, as I told in India, now during this uh, period of the COVID, the people watching the pornography, if the children are married at the age of 8, 8 12 years, what is the need for them to watch? They, they will not be interested in watching any pornography at all, I can tell you. You are you, your grand, great, great grandfathers and you know, if you spoke about pornography, they would have laughed at you because they have already seen and you know since their sexual attraction began since their cap capacity to participate before even their pu puberty age their organs secondary organs developed itself the love begins the love has not begun in testosterone or estrogen dominance understand the love begin begins understanding begins in lack of testosterone in lack of estrogen that love so that never complained whatever the grandmother is there grandfather adjusted whatever the way grandfather is there and grandmother adjusted whatever the way grandmother is there grandfather adjusted that's how in you know, oh, except in kings again they are like but otherwise there is no concept of divorce there is a concept of getting married to many but there is no concept of divorce. Understand? And now, and we were made in India. Hey, childhood marriage is a sin. Our sees mind, behavioral, so studied very well. And they told us, you know, not to have divorces, to have a healthy family. And how matured you will become by the age of 25 years. 
and uh, their life is only the parents and children and they focus all their energies on the children no more self love once the children are born because at uh, early age they got married and they already finished their sexual energy because as soon as the free testosterone is born that is well utilized well channelized and so there is no desire to look at other women there is no desire for them to look at other male that's how they focused and once the children are born to them and their entire focus is only on the children to do the parenting and such a great tradition understanding and getting married is not that i am not talking something illegal i am talking about the tradition and what is it not everyone failed in india to understand what is the greatness behind the what is the secret behind early marriages and today the same in india marriages are failure and the moment you get married you will realize the boy loves himself or girl loves herself that is the problem and in earlier at that age of 8 years you love others you love others and you have started loving others you started absorbing adaptive genesity your your ability to accept the other person limitations a married survival is all about your ability to accept the others weaknesses others negative traits understand and that's how the legacy is continued our grandfathers continued the journey you examine any country anywhere you look at but today why we are shattered our peace is shattered there is insecurity feeling about our own partner why because we failed to examine at our rna dna level we failed to bring our selection of a partner is wrong not scientific uh, what our ancestors have given us we have violated it and nor what modern science is giving we don't even understand we don't even know again we are going going by perception like advertisement whoever poses very well in front of camera whoever is best selfie is there you should know and that selfie you fall in love with that selfie and that selfie is a selfie that is a self love that's all and when you marry a person who loves himself or who loves herself how can you be happy she won't love you simple as simple as that the today whole world problem is and the self love is the highest loving others is the key root when you only lose your self love and then only you, you can love others you know self compassion is different self love is egoistic self love it's not that you have to hate yourself i am not telling you that but self love is based on ego i love my taste i don't love your taste that is called self love ego and i'm just trying to explain why in those days they got married like that and all those saints you will find at the age of 8 years 10 years 12 years 15 years already life is over by the age of 15 years you know all our grandmothers i can tell they got married at the age of 15 years or even 12 years all all my grandmothers in india you ask anyone their great great grandmother of my age is 55 you ask any 55 year old indian is my guarantee and their grandmother you ask when their grandmothers and got married their great grandmothers unless they are influenced by the westerners i can tell you definitely definitely they got married at the age of 8 to 12 years. and and when you ask this guy like me and they will tell hey i should tell you so much to learn from my great great grandfather you know i know and great great grandmother means you feel shabby about your relationship isn't it because we have deviated from what a what is a science what a yoga given embedded into our selection of a partner to and giving a birth to the children everywhere yoga played every everything in india is a science and a lack of understand lack of treating and our culture as a nonsense and made us to pay heavily today understand it is a culture 
by which the entire world influenced, how much instead of investigating the science behind it, and we have gone mad, and we have gone deluded. With the result, we all suffer. And so, I am trying to tell you the germ cell mortality. Next is come, so the germ cell mortality is for immortality, to experience the immortality. How many of us, we try to realize the family tree is given, who doesn't have family tree? Now, no one interested even family tree. You know, I don't want to know my grand grand, hey, it's all right, what they have done? What they have given me money? Yeah, hey, it's all right. I am smart. As if you are born out of air, you know, without your great great grandparents. No respect. Now, now the present children, they don't, they, they have no respect even for the parents. Use and throw. So, and parents are also like that. So, joint family, observer, levels of observation, respect for each other, and why this saint has given us the progeny, and why we are born, what is the purpose of it? The purpose of it is to experience the immortality. And you are your search is for you, are you, definitely your morbidity you are experiencing, come morbidity you are, come morbid, come morbidity you are experiencing, come morbidity, comorbidity you are experiencing, morbidity is experiencing mortality, we are living dead almost, our life is, we are born, we are giving the birth to the children, but we do not know how to drive them toward the immortality. Again, like us, we want them to give the birth to the children and children, but without giving the concept of actual immortality. We are, our, our design is to give the birth to the children, to liberate the two souls, the three souls, the ten souls, and by all means to make them realize Allah, Holy Spirit or Parabrahma. That's why a Gruhastu is great, a family holder is great. Because his responsibility is not only giving birth, not only taking care of them, but also taking care of them, their experience, their singularity. That is the greatest responsibility. You know, you are giving a birth to the children for salvation of their soul. That is the greatest responsibility. That's why Grihastha Ashrama is considered as the highest ashrama. A Grihastha Sanyasa. Sanyasa Ashrama, the marriage in India is meant only for that purpose. Vanaprastha Ashrama, Sanyasa Ashrama, at the age of 60 years, that's all. Your entire goal is only singularity, nothing else. At the age of 70 years, you already renounced it, no one will come to your house. You are a sanya, like a lama in Tibet, all alone. He doesn't want, hey, don't come. I am fine. Don't encourage anymore. The 80 year old doesn't feel anymore. He will tell all his grand grandchildren, please don't come. Please don't come. Let me leave. Let me develop. I am very happy being alone, developing detachment. I am doing tapasya. Let me realize the singularity. Hey children, don't come. Even you come, be there and just look at me and go. Complete detachment after 70 years means practice of absolute detachment. What is detachment? Drishtana Shravika Vaitrishnasya Sanya Vairagya Sanya Vashikaram Vairagya means 60 years over, 70 years over, no more interested in food and you are not living for any more for food. You are living, you are eating to just for immortality. Every means of input becomes, should become a force for immortality. That's, that's called clearly the four stages of the life or five stages of the life in India clearly, clearly established. What is a Balia childhood? What is the adult, adolescent age called Kaumara? And what is called young adolescent or young person called Yavana? And then called, what is called Grihastu? 
understand then called vanaprastha and then called sanyasa one two three four five six stages of the life the six stages of the life i don't think anywhere in the world it is clearly defined and the six stages of the life if you respect the purpose of your birth is served balya childhood you have to treat him like an enemy causing a pain inflammatory response so that his brain is programmed not abusing and it is shaping you have to keep the hand inside you have to beat other way not pampering you have to beat all the time beating beating but love behind but not exhibiting it formness your parents have to be very firm with the children not hate the children that love should not be exhibited to the children unlike the contrary to the present generation that's why we are not developing their frontal cortex areas of the child then comes kaumara is a puberty and then comes yavana yuva in a way it called yuva there are many people name in india yuva yuva is a sanskrit word means young adolescent to young this is puberty teen teenage this is adolescent and young adult grihastu adult and grihastu married life grihastu means he is sexual energy progeny giving birth to the children at this not at that age and grihastu responsibilities and looking out only not be, looking out only the children as everything only they are both husband and wife no more interested in any sexual relation no more interested in world entertainment all their life is only the children progeny grooming the progeny is the grihastu and then family the entire focus is a family that's all no more self interest all your self interest is gone here all your sexual desires are gone over all your entertainment of visiting all entire world is over already and grihastu and all that you have to concentrate you get you are getting married at yavana itself and then you have a children and entire focus is only on the family next is one family responsibility is over now the children are already grown up that's why young when you get married at young you have great great grandchildren and ready to work for you that is a great legacy you have an excellent supportive system and then called vana prastha weaning period weaning period completely like a mother weans the child after one year of the breast feeding second year onwards mother has to wean a child only one year and a child is sleeping with the mother and parents from the second year onwards child has to be slept in a separate room so also now the family and he has to wean from the family that's all and he already made every he made everyone responsible and he made them independent and neither he is dependent nor they are dependent on him that's all 60 years one prastha 60 years you have already seen a life of 60 years in india 60 years means all periods of turbulence all periods of good all calamities all droughts all corona kind of the diseases and the cycle is called cycle of dharma is called and 60 years if you are, if you have become 60 year means you have seen epidemics you have seen the pandemics and you have seen you have seen materialism you have seen amount of spiritualism you have seen all things you have seen the period of divorce you have seen the period of good and all the things will happen in the period of 60 years and by the time 60 years means you are already matured you have seen everything you experienced everything and now that's the time weaning 
and telling. So no more dependent for happiness. Oh my child, child should come and see me. Oh my God, my son should support me. Oh my God, my son is not coming. Oh my God, my daughter-in-law is not coming. Oh my God, my children are not taking care of me. No. Neither parent is completely independent nor children are completely independent and parent will tell so. And it is a healthy relationship. Understand? And then come. That's why 60 years is celebrated a big festival in India. Seven days they have to perform a big, big ceremonies, pujas because it is like a lama leaving from the a, a, going forever into a samadhi. That's what is celebrated. But in India now it is celebrated. And next day this fellow will be sitting in front of the TV and all the time watching the TV. Everything is made a pun or you know fun. Mockery of the traditions I tell you. For the namesake Shashti Pur, now children come and oh my God my children are performing Shashti Pur do you know? And it's a big celebration like a marriage celebration now in India. Spending hundreds and thousands and millions of rupees. And but, and children want to entertain the parents. Parents want to be, you know, egoist, so egoistic. They want to, still they have attraction. The period where they have to develop detachment. You know, parents have so much of attachment to the children at that age. Not so, it is a Totally a weaning period, just like mother has to train the child to sleep in other room, other's house. Because the children have other's house or in your own house, you have your own room, that's all. You, you won't entertain anyone, weaning, only food comes, you will have food, that's all. Your wife and you separate or family supplies, you are no more interested in the family affairs, no more interested. Next comes sannyasa. 60 years means already three generations are there in your family. That's why and one, one generation will look after the other generation. You don't have to worry. Then sannyasa ashrama, 70 years. Next 10 years. Total renunciation. You will tell your parents, your children, I am sannyasi, I am a guru now. You renounced everything. No more sensual entertainment. Your dress even changes. That's all. No more no more attractions and indriya nigraha, chitta nigraha, everything, all, everything restraining the sense doors and restraining the mind, restraining the, from reading and only practice, only swacha, only practice, practice till singularity is experienced with bare minimum food and no, no craving for the food, no more craving for anything, whatever comes into the plate, taking it and restricting that quantity of the food, whatever coming in the plate in the family, in the house is least bothered. The plate is kept outside his room and the food, whatever comes into the room, into the plate he has to take and he and his wife have to eat together, that's all. And then all in their practice is not entertaining, not any more responsibilities, only responsibility the children is preparing for the death, sannyasastrama, preparing for immortality, that's all. And this is the way these are called stages of the life, six stages of the life. When six comes in India, one is shat guna, six qualities. And not only that, the six stages of the life are very, very important. Sannyasa ashrama is a very, very important. This is a way one has to transcend the life. Where yoga begins, yoga begins here. Your physical yoga to every all limbs of yoga begins here. Like for me, it began at the age of six years, and it begins yoga begins here. And by the by, and you ha having or handling all this responsibility, and by the if you are serious enough, if you are smart enough, but here itself you will experience singularity. But otherwise, definitely singularity will experience at this stage. Already you have 60 years of spiritual experience from your childhood to and from your grown and clearly defined stages. Since we have overlooked now even a sannyasi, 70 year old and you know so wearing the half necker and you know so and walking in the park and eating non-vegetarian etc. And interested always walking, jogging and, and he feels and you know he is very smart. He is not... He is not, 
he is not understanding how deluded he is, how immature he is like a young adult. Understand? And this is called graciously growing. Not graying. By default we all gray. By default all our hair gray. It is not Growing grey is uh, by default happens. Growing grey by default. But the thing is, gracious growing is very important. Growing is for growing. Then that is the legacy in India. There is a stages in India. You look at anywhere in the world the same methodology of Takshashila, the, the pre-Indus civilization, since the yoga began, and this is how, why saints got married at a young age, where you take Yadnya Valkya, where you take Vasistha, where you take all those great saints, and they are all family people. You know. Why family? I told you, and because of that Vasistha, and people, and they have the, even in India now, so there is a sect called, you know, Vasistha Gotra, and they read Vasistha Gotra, but you know, they are far away from even uttering that word, because what is Vasistha? Brahmano Brahmana Priya Brahma Vidvaro Vidvara Brahmanyo Brahmana And you should feel ashamed to say your lineage is Vasistha because who is Vasistha? And the one who is a prodigy of singularity experienced it at very young age. Are you, when you say, when you chant that Gotra, Bharadvaja, who is Bharadvaja? And people read these names, you know, so I Gotra, they love their Gotra, but he is a mockery of the Gotra. So understand what a, a legacy of gene mapping and you can change this is a way to change your gene mapping and once you know where the problem exists and today and the present science and in olden, in olden days itself they know how to change your gene expression. As I told you gene can never be changed but gene expression can be changed. Yoga is the way to change the gene expression. The gene expression complete, a gene expression. Yoga is only the way to change the gene expression. If we change gene expression, so what changed? He has changed his completely gene expression. There is no more continuity of the death. Consciousness will not anymore. He has attained complete transformation and at the <coughs> bringing change at the gene transformation. Understand? Anyone, by default we are being born means we have certain gene. So how now coronavirus is, coronavirus doesn't have DNA. And it is born with RNA, with 30,000 nucleotides. files, RNA files, it doesn't even have DNA, but still is it functioning or not? It is functioning, in fact it is very potent. So without DNA also RNA can function independently. The technologies of enabling, enabling your RNA, technologies of enabling your DNA, and maladies of DNA, knowing them and the remedial measures taking up with respect to diet, nutrition, exercise, the yoga, the vavahara, the way you think, that is the way to change the way you drive your vehicle to the singularity. This is the way to understand why these words, why these standards, what these signs, Saints have given us word. Why we cannot go away from the word? And so I have been explaining, you know. 
So, why the human behavior is well understood and you know why this uh, knotting around us to grow and getting relation, getting into relationship is to drive our energies, to get channelized, to get matured. Even after marriage you are behaving like a bull, looking at other girls, having a partner means you are not matured. That is happening because you got married late. If you got married at the age of 8 years, it would not have happened. At the age of 15 years, 14, it would not, it wouldn't have happened. Your commitment will be 100% to your partner, I tell you. If you get married at, at the age of 14 years or 8 years. Because 8 years to 18 years and called adult intelligence is formed. But after adult intelligence formed, you are marrying. So after already you, you brought the vehicle and what can you do? You have to drive only that vehicle, whatever the way it is. Before that vehicle is made, if you give a specification, if you choose specification, as per that if you buy a vehicle, definitely that vehicle will be very good. So the message is that, so this legacy and the signs, why those saints and have given us the legacy of yoga? discriminatory knowledge and wisdom, the life of wisdom. What is the life of wisdom? And what is the life? What is the science? How? Growing matured. So gurus, why they need to be respected? Because every family having a guru itself. Hamsacharam <coughs> Sacharam Kandanat Anekavanam Rupakam Shabda Jalamayam Charachar Jantu Dehani Vasinam Chakra Rajamanah Todbhava Ekavanam Ataparam Pratareva Himana Santara Bhavaye Guru Paduka Hamsacharama Kandanada Mane Kavana Marupa Kam Shabda Jalamayam Charachar Jantu Dehani Vasinam Chakra Raja Manaha Tod Bhava Eka Vanna Mata Param Hamsa Chara Makanda Nada Maneka Vanna Marupa Kam Shabda Jala Mayam Charaja Jantu Dehani Vasinam Chakra Raja Manah Tadbha Eka Varna Mataparam This is a shloka. Hamsa Chara Makanda Nada So I am not going to explain in this because I wanted to explain this. I went to the words of a saint, what is the word means? The word is, the one who experienced knows that word exactly. The experiment, what is the experimenting? At what age it begins? Experiencing. What the present, what the 70 year old watching a TV, 60 year old entertaining with a, asking for a food, or french fries, or eating a burger or a pizza, you know, along with his grandchildren, children, and you know, and, and doing this, you know, and 
he still loves his wine woman and still he loves his all weaknesses do you think it is a maturity it's not a maturity totally immatured they are thinking they are mat they are totally immatured hair is gone gray but mind is not grown and they want to color them even the hair also now the latest trend is and you see they won't, don't want to be looked at 60 70 they eat they look like this and they want to look young i don't know whom to attract at the age of 60 years 70 years and still you are spending the time in front of the mirror oh my god you know this hair is there any way doctor i can have new hair is there any way doctor you know whether my skin can shine skin should can shine is there any way my skin won't wrinkle is there any way i can mend my mind no all we worried still about the body useless body and as if it is made with some you know if i cut open your body and what comes out is the same you know what comes in me the same thing comes out the excreta urine and you know all that pus and everything and still we love we love the lousy bodies you know. that's our wisdom it keeps by the time you grow we grow at this age there has to be some maturity and that's why these immature grandfathers and ruining the children this immature parenting is completely damaging the legacy and your your progeny is going to be affected because of your craziness here understand and how sham it is shameful it is and what is yoga yoga is to be like this now at the age of 60 years a yoga a yogi is getting into you know Oh, my body! I'm doing yoga. Oh, your body thing. Oh, we are very good partners for salvation or for doing physical yoga. And physical yoga performing together. Have you ever seen partnership yoga, acro yoga, partnership yoga, sexual indulgence in yoga postures? Have you gone mad? A person is not even supposed to touch the other person. the legacy of the lineage of the teachers is and in fact a younger krishna master never touched you know yes when he is young he must have touched but the down the line and i want to be touched i want to be corrected you want to carry those memories of correction what you will correct every time posture you remember again i am conditioning your mind forever you have to be corrected no you have to i am training to be observer it is not this you have to watch watch in northern traditions in india a guru sits there and does a student is he is going on explaining the what he has to observe what he has to observe what he has to observe it is all about observer training of observation observe he training to be observer and he is explaining and what to observe way to observe the moment he becomes and helps you like the moment you take the child into your arms or keep in a wheelchair that's all. your child growth stopped understand a child has to learn to creep learn to crawl learn to go on four legs learn to walk on first four legs first learn to walk on stomach and then learn on four legs then learn on two legs and we only little bit support a child is not supposed to be grown in a cradle a child is not supposed to be grown in a wheelchair and a child is not supposed to be grown in the back seat of the car dumped as a prisoner the child is not designed to be carried in the front like a monkey even a monkey doesn't carry for some time it carries and only when it transports otherwise you look at that monkey young monkey small kid 
how not how it jumps is your child jumping like that oh my god oh child don't jump oh my god oh my god you look at the mother monkey and you will see how it trains it it is a young monkey a monkey has so much maturity in grooming its child and we have become human and we we are worse than a monkey in grooming our children Pampering and our self-love is damaging our children. Understand? Ham sacharam kanda nadamanek varnamarupakam shabdhajalamayam chera chera jantu de. aspects of selection criteria and what is a delusion criteria what is a selection criteria what is why children at young age got married why and a bull is how they are tamed how the buffalo young buffaloes not a young buffaloes tamed what is the legacy in india how in india and the defined different stages of the life for maintaining the free testosterone how the free testosterone is used throughout the life span and they never age free testosterone is an anti aging molecule sexually bound testosterone the more you indulge in the sexual activity means you're sexually bound and testosterone is increasing and your desire is increasing and the free testosterone the one who uses for grooming the progeny for taking responsibility for focus for the detachment he will experience absolute peace otherwise if you are just boosting the testosterone and then you are simply like that bull not a bull even at the age of 60 years 70 years and you are looking at a woman and per se you know so enjoying and the body that's all how it match should it is it is all about the way the testosterone evolves and the way it is channelized from each period of the life is what is a very that's called growing and not growing gray happens by default but what is important is a gracious growing or graying is for growing graying is for growing i you know so it is not growing graying it is other way around and graying is for growing understand if you understand these words what you know when i was a child i used to wear half neckers you know and even in intermediate you know scholar told you know you have to wear no the pant otherwise we used to wear only you know short shorts shorts because we could not afford or whatever it is as a child even the girls wear only up to here skirts and now at the age of 70 years now i am seeing again people are wearing the neckers to indicate how immature they are they are thinking because they went to america and they have seen they went to abroad to their children they saw everyone wears off neckers you want to attract with your muscles whom you are trying to attract to whom you are trying to show your body a sanyasi doesn't wear any dress 
But now you see in India or anywhere in the world, it has become a fashion. I am not talking about the Western society because it is your culture or what, it is not for that. But in India I am talking about now the 50 years, 60 years wearing like their kids and half naked walking in the park, you know, say westernized style and they, they pose as if they are the, you know, so developed. That's what I am saying. And growing grey is not great. Grey is growing. That's why they want color. They are in, they are showing that how immature they are. They want color the hair. They are so self-conscious about the body. Where they have to go, the conscious of others, no more self-conscious. And connecting consciousness with the age where they are supposed to have. But still every day at the age of 60 years, Oh my God, my child, every day, you know, on Skype in America. Oh my God, my granddaughter, oh my granddaughter, licking, you know, sitting here. There is no concept of graying at all. You know. That's why we are damaging, that's why our all aspects of growth inhibited. That's why coronavirus or any virus and comes where the first we are covered is. We are so afraid. We are so afraid now. A 60 year old, 70 year old also now more afraid than anyone else. So why it happened? Because your yoga strengthening mechanisms, growth mechanisms and which are supposed to begin at a young age or not happened. Even at this age, no one thinks about yoga. No one thinks about anything. And for them, yoga or spirituality means watching, listening to a discourse, reading a book, writing a, you know, a name of a saint. You know, so most of the people write, you know, Rama, word a thousand times, million times, billion times. So what? Are you in LKG to write? You are supposed to be meditator, sannyasa ashrama, practicing atma vichya, self-realization, realizing shuchi, shuchi vichyana, what is the pure, what is the impure. So, there is no point in even talking. Many Westerners are realizing, but not many Indians. Because now the materialism in India is killing us. And already the materialism in abroad, how it killed, people realized to certain extent, those who realized why yoga is popular in abroad is because that some society with the wisdom realized the importance of yoga in India and that realization is far away, very far away, very far away. Even the practice of yoga, understanding spirituality again like Nath Gurus and again for experience, again like Goraknath etc. The tradition, as I told you, Shiva Sangeeta talks about mantra for, you know, that mantra. Oh, if you practice the mantra, you know, you will be attracted by all the women, all the thousands of the women coming behind you. you know. And that is what tantra practitioner. So your means of practicing meditation also is like that. You know. <clears throat> One has to go beyond a level of understanding, maturity, vairakya and peace, calm, quiet. At this age itself, at much before itself, you know, that peace in me, no one can take away. The strength in me, no one will take away. The more problems I have, more strong I am becoming. So, understand. I fully realize the dangers of comforts. Now, the dangers of indulgence completely. I am so afraid, like Anatta Pindika, the dangers of comfort, the dangers of indulgence. You know. So I only look for the difficulties so that to remain strong. That's why every day I am trying to understand the scientific problems, problems of the COVID and trying to understand the problem. I am trying to understand how to utter that problem by means of a nutrition, ahara, vihara, by exercise. It is how to help the society. It is not to. Definitely, 
my technology has helped me in protected no doubt that's why my technology is i can 100% tell you the words of experience experimentation you know that's what you have to look at behind those words of the saint why those words are important they speak why e is equal to m square important if you consider e is equal to m square cannot be manipulated so also and the words of the saints cannot be manipulated that's what patanjali is talking about purve shamapi aapi guru kale vachetan let us understand the importance of those words why kumar is reading those words just to explain you what are those words this much time it takes for me to make you understand because you don't come with the background of surrender you don't come with the background of mumukshatam serious burning desire for you know enlightenment you don't come and for like in olden days we went prepare to a teacher and you know looking for serious desire for technique of self realization self actualization wherever we went total surrender so why it is important it's my duty to explain because the yoga in the west 99% is totally matched they look at the they look down upon are you a guru they talk like this are you a guru i am not interested in guru you know they talk like this in the west even in india i am not interested in guru i am not interested you are not interested in your kindergarten teacher as you are not interested in professor and you still you are earning your bread and butter that's what you are trying to tell without guru and where is a college and which is the school where did you learn your alphabets without guru tell me he she is not guru what nonsense we talk without a, without a lecturer have you learned in a college and without a professor have you done your phd you show me one phd without a professor who did not allowed not allowed how come in yoga it is allowed without a coach without a professor without a acharya that's the problem why don't you do phd watching youtube and tomorrow even when some university may offer you phd but you have to go to the professor definitely to learn, to be guided by the professor without guide there is no phd and post doctoral research and without guide and again not possible so in yoga the more you advance the desire the requirement of the guru is becomes imminent prominent understand so without guru there is no life without kindergarten teacher you can't learn alphabets even your parents can educate you but still you have to go to the school because it's for a peer group learning so also even at home my father taught me yoga then i would have been happy isn't it why i have to go for proper schooling in yoga maybe i am you know i am well educated why i should send my child to the school i can educate him as well at home so other than that simple knowledge there are so many other things happens in the classroom situation understand and did you learn did you went to only one school throughout your life so also in yoga how come there is a single school you have become expert tell me so understand the importance of multiplicity hierarchy and the importance of the teacher why i respect my lineage those gurus understand why they are so important what they are talking each word i am told you that hansa chara means it takes now time so maybe tomorrow day after i will explain so we practice now at least you know half an hour practice good enough or one hour practice in a hell he exhale in a hell whether you are interested in theory or not but you are definitely interested in you know so looking in your your hair should not grey 
and you know, your skin should not develop, you know, so wrinkle. And that much consciousness is there in the body. You know, so whether the Jesus is there or not in the temple, whether, you know, so statue is there, sanctum sanctuary is there in the temple, but you worship outside world too much. Because you never worship the soul inside. If you worship the soul inside, why you worship the wall outside? You worship the wall outside out of gratitude because, because of that sanctum sanctorium is existing, Jesus is existing. Understand? Even at the age of 70 years he is worshipping you know, outside the beauty of the temple and never went inside. He got stuck up there. You know, where is Sanyas Ashram? Unless he leaves he can't be there simultaneously, isn't it? You have only two options, either to struck up with the body or struck up with the soul. If you are standing outside the wall, means you are not there inside. If you are there inside, means you are not outside. You are there inside, means you already crossed the outside barriers. It cannot happen, you are inside and outside. Understand? Only when you live outside, you are inside. The journey is from outside to the inside. <coughs> <clears throat> not inside to the outside, isn't it? outside to the inside. So how quickly you gone beyond this body and other things. Are you with the soul? Or are you stuck up with the body, etc. Beauty of the body. I see many of my students stuck up with the body still. Oh, I am a male. Oh my God, I am a female. Oh my God, you know. I thought, you know, you are a guru. You are you are like, you know, so to be worshipped and kept in small place and every day put in mala. You are not, God is not there everywhere. For you, Guru is not there everywhere, in everything. He is in the form of 60 year old, 55 year old, 70 year old. Yeah. In the form of greying hair, a Guru is a dress. He is a, he is a person to be worshipped wearing a garland around him. And doing this, and a wishful, a wishful filler, guru means our God, our guru is the same. So why? Because you stuck up with the body. You limited him into, you made him a prisoner in one room, and you allocated in your mind, your entire mind is, he is not there in the entire mind. You allocated a small room for him. Hey, you are intruding into my privacy. Why you are inquiring about my family? What do you have to do with my family? It is my personal things, no? <clears throat> that is your connectedness. There is something called personal, there is called something called sex, there is something called intellect. You know, that's why as long as you keep this guru in a den, as a prisoner of one room, this, this is our guru concept in India or in abroad. God, God is in everything, so you see everything as a God. Guru is in everything, you see everything in a Guru. Far away, when I talk like this, oh, students write big, big, oh my God, what a lecture, comma. You know. But when it comes to implementation, when I check, when I really put test, miserably fail. Only, very rare indeed one or two be successful. Otherwise, that's what the huge difference between this and this. If you are taking this from here, transformation comes. If you are taking from here, entertainment. These lectures and the discourses for entertainment. You know, a part of it cut on YouTube, listening. Oh, wow, beautifully eating French fries and watching it, listening to Kumar discourse. Such an enchantment, such a kick. And listening to your Kumar and practicing it, you know. Very difficult. A guru is here in the head, not in the heart. In the head, he is entertainer of your intelligence, your intellect, and further he is adding into your intelligence. That's why you love him. Oh my God, I learned so much. Not how much I realized. Knowledge seeker you are, not the wisdom seeker at all. What for? This entire world is behind this reading the books, etc. 
unless you experience unless you keep the sugar in the mouth how do you know the taste tell me you have done phd on a sugar molecule you never tasted it can you can you understand what is a sugar is it tasting the sugar is important or doing a phd on sugar is important tell me can a phd on sugar your experimentation on sugar will give you experience of the sugar your phd on swimming can ever give you experience of swimming tell me so also this entire spirituality yoga is to be experienced it is not a intellectualization like your especially spirituality has become a thorough intellectualization what patanjali is saying to develop and it's not there you should be very very careful and you know before my yoga course begins i want to shatter all your myths you should be very clear to from whom you are going to learn understand i am going to be very angry person all gurus vasistha and all very angry they don't tolerate any i know so they don't pamper the children they are very firm a, a student is like you know balya a childhood parents have to be very firm a teacher has to be very very firm very very firm it is going to be very strict discipline you have no other go accepting 100% if you have some trivial issues going on if you are here to pose questions and all this, this teaching is not for you not for you at all this is what i tell in india to all my teachers whom i train all in india this is not a teacher training it is a yogi training you know <coughs> understand it is a yogi training it is not a teacher training teacher training means a yogi will become a teacher understand for the name say you want a certificate we give but it is a yogi training it is not a teacher training unless you are a yogi how come you become a teacher of yoga you tell this is a yogi training <coughs> all your three months there has to be a change in your personality the change everywhere your living has to become scientific totally and if ready to change this course is for you ready to become living the life standards with the standards with the pramana with the absolute science leaving your leaving your delusion leaving your perception first empty out your mind then only this course is for you understand wherever you have to go you have to go like that it's not something i'm telling you you have to be here like that if someone has not told you it is their mistake but i i brought up properly i brought up in good cultured institutions understand me is my it's not my fault if you're not brought up in a cultured institution of a gurus understand very very important what i am going to tell you how to do agriculture how to become a cultured how to become a cultured yoga is to make you a cultured person right now so without <clears throat> plowing without removing the weeds without putting the water without flowing there is no agriculture isn't it so my duty is to plow tell you to plow how to plow your field of mind and body inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and drop your arms people talk about angry angriness of patta vijo as and after all that is for only hatha ordinary asanas itself they are ordinarily angry then how much angry krishna macharya should be and how much angry the saints should be for the knowledge they have the the wideness of the knowledge they have they they don't represent in spiritual traditions you should know there is no spirituality they are my gurus but they are very good in but in discipline of yoga not entire gamut of yoga if you think the, the meditation traditions no there is no meditation in their traditions the meditation is a siddhanta vichara there is a way to meditate which i will be teaching you slowly 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 
inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale drop your arms you talk about balance in yoga but you never palate you never have a balance in yoga because if you practice all limbs of yoga this is called balance in yoga it is not a balancing yoga means keeping your leg like this and keeping like this this is called a balance in yoga a acrobat also will do gymnast also will do a dog also nowadays i am seeing on the youtube dog also doing like this yoga are you a dog and to stand on the two legs and do it stand on two hands and keeping your legs up what is the difference a dog can do you can do so what the difference what dog can not do what you can do is called yoga can dog observe himself and sit in meditation and can experiencing light no that's what yoga what dog can do what monkey can do if you can do what's the difference between monkey and dog and you is there any difference yoga is for that yoga is at the monkey level or a dog level i am seeing lot of you know yoga teachers teaching yoga to their dogs and they are giving shows 2 minutes 3 minutes running shows with the dogs and in india further when that video circulated to india and indians are further advanced they add and hindi music and you know and they add telugu music to that videos and they spoil the entire essence of that you know <coughs> and the beauty of that a video itself is damaged by that song it indicates how culprit the minds are you know how manipulative the minds are i don't know, i don't know why they add those music if just the dog is the dog is trained the dog is showing some feet observe it why you want to have a music in your and do you think the dog is playing a music yoga is not you know so dogs can do certain yoga you know so the yoga what dogs can do if you are doing that's not yoga understanding dog cannot understand what is the resistance what is the endurance and whatever the way you are trained it will do simply the, the same way you are doing without any understanding you are doing means that's why i said you are like a dog there is no difference between dog and you you, you should understand no what you are trying to do why i should do this this axial rotation this is working on a transverse plane and this is a way i am working in a proximal region and is a way to conserve the energy and it is keeping my center of mass and center of line intact i am not shifting i am moving around the axis centripetal or a centrifugal force i am creating for maximum output that's why i am moving like this i am a crazy guy to move like this your dog also moves like this but has it understood this principle that's why i said if you have not understood the science behind it and then is called a dog yoga only and is not simply knowing which muscle what do you get by knowing the muscle tell me if you do, if you don't even know what are the motor units included what is alignment and what what is that muscle has to do has to do and the muscle which you are interested is not at all important in yoga the muscle interested is 650 muscles all fine muscles all slow twitch fast slow twitch muscles all you talk about in the west and all the muscles or bulk muscles yoga is all about firing the neurons wiring the brain is all to do how many small motor units how many small muscles even not leaving a finest of fine muscle yeah, working with it is called yoga finest of finest muscle and the only you are working with the bulk muscles in yoga are you a soldier they are called soldier they are called aggressive temperament they carry so yoga is not for kick yoga is for transformation <coughs> the way yoga is damaged i'm saying one one way i appreciate because the way asanas are developed but still with a non scientific background using some vocabulary 
So yoga is not about the vocabulary. Yoga is all about understanding the science behind it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Meru madhya chakrasana karishyami inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, exhale four, inhale five, exhale five. Inhale, say, exhale, say, inhale, seven, exhale, seven. Inhale, yams, exhale, free your arm, front and back, free your shoulder, up and down. Move your arm all around, freeing your back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now for axial rotation for upper spine, cervical spine. Inhale one. Exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, inhale six. Exhale, sing, inhale, seven, inhale, yams, exhale, bring your arms down, front and back, your both arms up and down, your both shoulders moving around, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine. Now, we go on to Vinyas. Inhale, exhale. Your left leg here, right leg here. And your heel down. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And free your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And free your left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Free your arms. Free your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Free her neck. Alignment. And axial alignment. Diagonal alignment. One. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Expansion. Inhale. Contraction. Exhale. 
in a hell he exhales in a hell for exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he exhales in a hell for in a hell for he Free your back, free your shoulders, free your neck. <coughs> There's a power off, <coughs> <coughs> and you right near the front, <coughs> you right forearm down, <coughs> and lifting your leg up. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> In olden days, used to like black and white movies, and the beauty of the black and white movies far superior compared to the color. Sometimes, black and white yoga. Yoga in the darkness, and when there is no light, is natural. That's why. So I love black and white, whether you love or not. So black and white movies, I, they don't distract you and they keep your focus. They are very good. And all these modern movies and the colors, they shatter your mind. They excite your mind. That's why. So now naturally, God's want us. the nature wants us to experience and the dark and light yoga is all about dark and light dark and light the journey is from dark to the light unless you know the dark how come you know the light isn't it <coughs> free the shoulders now the next one going into this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 and 3 4 push your back and then again right leg 1 elbow down dog and push your seat back everyone can do because you are on your elbows four arms now elbow plank little difficult moving into and going into front and press your heel down so that your back doesn't harm 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 exam now potassium restoration alkali restoration catabolism anabolic action is over followed by catabolism 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 bring your legs down and free your waist inhale exhale I lift your legs up. Just leave them free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your feet down. Roll your seat. Roll your seat. Left and right. Free your back. In a hell. Now bring your hand here. Push your seat back. Drop your legs. Ashtanga Namana. Ashtanga Namana Asana. Eight point. Ashtanga Yoga. This is called Ashtanga Yoga. Because every vinyasa, every posture, you will be going from this posture. And of eight or four. Chaturanga or Ashtanga or Shadanga. Shadanga means elbows also down. Shadanga. After doing Shadanga, Ashtanga. Again after Ashtanga, Chaturanga. Atacchatranga dhandasana, you know, and preparing your back. 
aligning your lumbar spine to sacrum spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale. Now, lower plank, very difficult, and people think so. So, elbows intact to your rib cage. Inhale and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, exhale, free your shoulders, front and back, and, and up and down, and free your legs, roll your seat, free yourself. Now we will do vinyasa, lower plank, upper plank, and a stronger, going down from here, inhale, lower plank. Upper plank and lower plank and down. Lift your legs up and <coughs> Niralambhana, Niralambhanasana. Comforting posture. I'm trying to, you know, so my microphone is coming out. So I'm trying to fix it. And now my back is free. Inhale, I now free. Once again, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fall down. Legs up. So your back strain. And your spine on the upper spine and strain on the lower spine totally has to be removed. Potassium ion has to be restored. Your pH has to be balanced. Now, so once oxygen supply goes inside, the desired ATP again generated. Again, when you contract, that ATP is used. Otherwise, ATP generated in absence of oxygen and makes you dead and makes you deprived and generates lactic acid. Not good. Roll your seat, inhale, exhale. When we begin our teacher training, we learn from fundamentals of every chemical equation, making you understand. Don't worry about and you will understand everything. Science is very simple when it is interesting. Understand. Don't get scared at all. Now, so free your legs and free your back and free your back and roll your seat. Niralambanasana from here. And the next posture is Kapota Pigeon. Pigeon chest, you know, very famous in medical language. Chest coming into the front is called a pigeon chest, is a disease. The yoga is not to have a pigeon chest nor kyphosis. It is to have a balance. The pigeon posture is to contain the chest and to align the chest both on back and front. Neither to release resulting into the pigeon chest nor resulting into the kyphosis. You can see my arms, you can see my neck and this is to balance your trunk, align your trunk. One, two, working on C1, C2. Three, four, Five, six, seven. And bring your legs down. Now cobra, lifting your head up. Lifting your head up, dropping your knees down. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And separating your lumbar spine from the sacrum spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now comes up dogs, lifting the knee up. And up dog, up dog, then only up dog, down, up, up, 
Ah, no, no. Leg up. Inhale. Go back. You have done? Contraction. Again, relaxation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Free, free your seat. Inhale, exhale. Free your seat. Free your back. Free your waist. Free your shoulders. Free your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Free your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. And free your neck. Free your back. Down, down. Inhale. Inhale. And pushing your seat back. And heel touching down. And look between the seats. And push your seat back. Watch behind your... Between the legs. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your left leg down. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gently. Inhaling. Exhaling and doing vinyas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going down. Upa vinyasas. Strengthening. Now, inhaling. Inhaling. And drawing back. Drawing back. Now, there is strain. Because you have done. You stay so much time. Applying 50% of your weight. 70% of weight. 100% of the weight. 200% of the weight. Anaerobic training. Aerobic training. So, in yoga, we apply different weights. Progressive weights, freeing your shoulders, and technical terms for that we will learn gradually. What is aerobic capacity? What is anaerobic capacity? What are the different strengths we use about? We learn systematically. Free your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Free your shoulders and up and down. Free your shoulders. Freeing the neck is the most important when you do that kind of strengthening resistance when you apply. When you apply the contractile, activate the contractile proteins, when you activate the actin, and very important, you also free the so actin mechanism, actin myosin mechanism, very, very important. And your sarcolemma, so which underneath mitochondria is there, and so that the mitochondria will improve only when, so sarcolemma, is relaxed completely and so lactic acid is removed from the sarcolemma because just underneath the sarcolemma of the cell and your so the muscles cell is sarcomia and the sarcomella and it is just beneath that you have a mitochondria in the muscle free your shoulders the shortest distance is in the muscle just below the sarcolemma but that mitochondria only will develop capillary density only will develop Provided if there is no lactic acid accumulation in sarcolemma. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. When we go into the muzzle and anatomy, then you will understand and how the motor units activate and the muscle, what is the sarcomere and what is, you know, so the covering sheaths are called and myofibers, fibrils, myofibrils, and everything you will understand how the muscle is like an yeah, optic fiber cable. Inhale, where those stem cells are situated. So, once we go in, so what makes the eccentric stress special? And so, what are those strengths? We will understand. Exhale, free your arms, 
free your arms and free your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Free your back, free your back. And diagonal, going like this. One, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, drop your arms, bring your leg here and take your, free your arms, one, two, three and four and bring your left leg here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Drop your arms. Bring your knee into the front and free your arms. Free your shoulders. Free your arms. And gently drop your shoulders. Inhale, inhale. And you are here. And free your legs. Inhale. Up. <coughs> <coughs> we have done zero resistance. And we have done medium resistance, high resistance, low resistance. Now applying the impact load intensity with the load is very, very powerful. Endurance strength training. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and free your shoulders and drop your shoulders, free your shoulders, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, see this, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale. Here you have zero resistance, you have impact load of intensity and you have resistance. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, last round, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. 
in a hell. Free your shoulders, drop your shoulders, and free your arms in a hell. Next resistance, impact load high, high resistance, and endurance. In a hell, 20 minutes over means you start actually burning the fat. Now the source of energy is going to be the fat. In a hell, you exhale. In a hell, you exhale. In a hell, when intensity is 50 50 percent, means strength and intensity both are balanced, then maximum amount of source of energy is 80 percent comes from the fat. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, you exhale, inhale, you exhale, inhale, you exhale, inhale, you exhale, inhale, seven postures only, you exhale, inhale, you exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This is the highest level of 50-50%. Very powerful. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, boost your lungs capacity enormously. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, 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 last round, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now, relaxing. Interval. When you do intensity, endurance, very important. Short interval, long interval. Without interval, your aerobic capacity drops down, lactic acid accumulation goes up. Entire lactic acid has to be converted into glucose. Your liver has to be strong. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. I'm removing, going into the zero resistance. Very important. The purpose of interval is zero resistance. Normalize. Normalize. Freeing. Freeing your back. Freeing your back. Inhaling. Exhaling. It's a very powerful way of relaxing and uh, spine. Relaxing entire spine. Now, now you can go 
Say we have done 12 rounds of that. Next one is called 10 rounds. Where you have capacity of endurance. Now, not the question of strength or training, but the question of endurance. Now you start really dissolving the fat. Look at now on the 10 rounds of the same. You do it. Check your capacity now. Inhale, exhale, inhale. He exhale, inhale, 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 fourth one, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Fifth one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Sixth one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, <coughs> exhale, inhale. Seventh one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Eighth one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, eight one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, ninth one, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Tenth one, last one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Now interval. Twelve, ten, interval. Relaxing. One, two, three, zero distance, normalizing the breath. Two purposes, restoring, neutralizing lactic acid, and with the potassium ion, with the bicarbonate ion, converting carbon dioxide into bicarbonate, generating water, CO2. CO2 gets converted into and bicarbonate. Bicarbonate and alkalizes. Potassium alkalizes. These are your two powerful mechanisms of restoring the cell pH. If you don't do this, now between those, these are called long interval and a short interval. Then your intensity exercise will kill you. Left leg back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Drop your arms. Bring your left leg here. Bring your knee here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your arms. Free your arms. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bring your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mid, mid back. One, two, three, four. I'm allowing my cell to breathe, my muscle to breathe, my cell to breathe. Very important. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Drop your arms, free your arms. We have done 12 rounds, we have done 10 rounds. Another 8 rounds to go. Inhale, now you are here. Exhale, inhale. Begins. 1, Inhale, exhale, inhale, two, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale. Four. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Five. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Six, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Seven, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Yay, last one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, interval, free, we have done last but one, six rounds we have to go, free your back, one, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, if you want to look your body like a sculpture, a sculpted body, just this sequence alone shapes your entire body. There's nothing beyond this in terms of 50% endurance, 50% resistance, which we call fitness, which we call aerobic capacity and equal anaerobic capacity, which is very important. And 50 ml of oxygen per minute per kg body weight approximately you will attain. That the level of oxygen saturation allows you to strengthen your lungs and fill it in and emptying it out, making residual volume zero and tidal volume full. That's the reason 50%, 50%. Very important. If you're going into the 80% or 90% of oxygen saturation means that's called high intensity. That's called high intensity. And if you go down into only and zero or uh, one power, it becomes a power. So it's all about 50% saturation, not a 3.4 liters called 1% saturation. Inhale, exhale, and free your arms. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, he exhale, inhale, he exhale, inhale, he exhale, inhale, drop your arms. And because of the light here, because of power failure here, and the temperature is very high. And so that's the reason. Inhale, he exhale. 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 Balancing your aerobic and anaerobic capacity, balancing your endurance and resistance, and to dissolve the fat to feel muscular, to feel and good to feel energetic throughout the day. Now, the last round, your breath is normalized. If not, fill and bring it down. Free your shoulders. The last round of six rounds. 12, 10, yard, 6. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. He exhale, inhale, 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 he exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Fourth one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, free your shoulders, up and down, exhale, inhale, free, freeing your back, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Drop your arms, free your arms, drop your shoulders, free your shoulders, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now left leg in the front, right leg on the back, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, drop your arms. Now the last round, freeing the entire body, making it light. Inhale, floating, exhale, inhale, exhale, free your shoulders, free your back. Inhale, just free, inhale. Exhale, inhale, free your shoulders, free your shoulders, drop your shoulders. It's the quickest way of freeing the entire body, going at a zero distance. Exhaling, you are feeling body heavy now, you feel entirely body light. Exhale, inhale, exhale, zero distance, inhale. Exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Free your shoulders. Free your shoulders. Dropping them down. And now you are free. Once again, freeing your back. Normalizing your back. Inhaling, jitter wrist. Exhaling. Your trapezius has to be totally free. Detached from cervical oblique muscles. Your delta should be free from your trapezius completely. And before we go into total relaxation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Freeing your back, inhaling, taking your leg here, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, drop your arms, free your arms, free your arms, free your arms, Egam. spine, freeing your sacrum, freeing your adductors, freeing your adductors, very important, freeing your sacrum, very, very important, free your shoulders. Bhumau Adhau Dandasanam Charitam Chalanam Dakshinava Freeing your shoulders, freeing your back. Atho 
त्रिकूटासन करीन योर शोल्डर्स फ्रंट एंड बैक बैट फ्रंट फ्रीन योर सैक्रो टूडे यू हैव सीन दट द टेस्ट बट नॉट नेसरी यू शुड हैव डन ऑल द राउंड इवन यू डेड फर्स्ट राउंड सेकेंड राउंड दट्स रिजनेबली गुड एनफ सो You can observe how slowly I am increasing your endurance, your resistance. How slowly we are going into zero resistance. I understand. You have option depending on your capacity of the body. Either you can do completely only zero resistance, no problem at all, or low resistance, medium resistance only, or zero resistance and low intensity, or medium resistance and medium intensity. Like today, what we have done: free your shoulders, free your shoulders, free your back. Inhale once again. Free your shoulders. No hurry at all. And when you practice yoga, justify every vinyasa, every upa vinyasa, every preparation. And no hurry at all. Allow yourself to completely. And there is no muscle left out. And in your body. in this sequence that's why vinyasa flows seven poaches flows 12 poaches flows 17 poaches flows flows 48 poaches flow flow is center of alignment to the center of gravity the line remaining intact in the proximal region the line of passing the center of mass always moving in line of center of gravity that's called flow that's called vinyasa vinyasa flying along the axis along the axis not from away from the axis free your shoulders away from the axis becomes a diagonal becomes a axial this is called linear moving along the axis called a linear motion and conservation of energy when you are in, when you are moving when a bus is moving and moving fast when you want to get down you have to move along with the bus that's called newton's law of motion so it is to conserve energy it is to conserve energy if you don't conserve and the moment you get down the bus you want to stand you will fall down you will fall when you resist you fall down you are not supposed to resist you have to adapt so that adaptation is to conservation adaptation is a conservation when bus is moving and suddenly you apply a brake you have to move in that direction if you don't try to resist and there is a shock on your spine entire spine catches that's why whenever your body when you sit in a car travel your body should be totally free and every brake applied every movement of the body should be reflected in your body your body should swing the way the vehicle swings if it does on means you are applying a resistance means you are giving a shock means you are bringing a stiffness means you are bringing a inertia understand the newton's law of motion is when it is moving move in the direction when you apply a brake and suddenly applied vehicle is back but you have to respect the motion fall in naturally you go into the front don't resist it and in fact you should go freely how freely you go fall into the front not hitting anything be prepared you understand the science you know when a brake is applied how to respect it without injuring yourself that is called conservation of energy that's called adaptance if you resist and that is a shock and shock collapses you and it destroys you simple flow vinyasa is respecting the motion linear motion not axial motion linear motion very important because if you don't respect the linear motion your vehicle is going this side vehicle is going this side this side this side it will take 2 hours to reach the destination if you go straight and it will take only 1 hour and you go left side of the road again you go to the right side of the road you go to the left side of the road again right side of the road like children immature children you know They want. That's called consumption. 
you are moving away from the center of axis. Again you are coming back, again you are moving away. That's called consumption, axial, axial transverse that consumes energy and it delays to reach your destiny. Don't do that. It is all about conservation of energy, moving in a linear motion, where you have to go in an axial motion you have to go. Understand? Free your back, free your shoulders. Yoga is all about subtle things, small things. A guru is the one who tells you very, very small things. Not, is the bulk muscles, not gross things at all. Is not sukshma, settler of settler, settler of settler, is what you learn as you progress along the path of meditation or yoga. It's a time, so free your shoulders and keep your hands back to free your neck. The two ways you can free your neck. The first condition is keep your arms behind, like this. Now, there is a groove formed. Now, there is your neck oblique muscles are free. Your C1, C2 oblique muscles are free because C3, C4, C5, C6, C7 oblique muscles are free. Now, your neck moves free. Never do this. Keeping your hand in the front, do this, you develop a catch. Never do that. Keep your hands behind. Understand? Now your trapeze is lifted. Free. Loose. Zero resistance. Means zero resistance your neck obliques. Now you see, effortlessly your neck moves. Understand? Or bring your hands under the neck like this. Good. Freely it moves. There is a way to free your neck. Not keeping hand in the front, you move your neck. It means you don't know. Who taught you yoga? I will ask. Understand? Free your shoulders, drop your shoulders up and down. Free always, free always. Free your neck. Now, your arms into front, stretch your legs. Again, Freeing the axis, move your feet left to right. Concentration the chest, anahata. Your legs extended in the front. Triangle, it is a triangle here. And center of mass and your L5 S1. That gets freed. When you move your feet like this, your L5 S1 gets freed. That's where your concentration is supposed to be. Immediately you feel your sacrum is freed. When you focus on the right point, immediately freed. The mind at play. Your arms into front. Relax entire body. Free. Entire.
soreness comes. You need branch chain amino acids, you need amino acids or you need the formula of yesterday I was explaining 160 nutrients more than 160 nutrients that's called soma rasa. So that and you bubble with the energy when you supply the nutrition required for the cell you bubble with the energy otherwise you feel exhausted you feel tired indicating you stress, you indicating your lack of capacity, aerobic capacity, lack of your nutrition. Understand, nutrition is very important. Now, say my students drink somaras. Now, three times a day, they feel again in the evening and must, must feel fully energetic and feel very good, feel very good. Otherwise, when you do resistance and intensity or endurance like this, you feel tired. You should not. You should feel energized. That happens when you convert 
this inflammatory response into growth response, into anabolic response, into muscle building, capillary building, mitochondrial building, abundant immunity, abundant energy. <coughs> learn. Always let us learn. 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 May all of you be blessed. May you, your family, your relatives, your friends, your colleagues, may all of you be protected. May all of you be protected. May Lord bless you all. May Lord bless you. <clears throat> may friend, may Lord bless your calling, may Lord bless your relative, may Lord bless your community, may Lord Bless your colony, may Lord bless your homeland, may Lord bless your county, may Lord bless your country, may Lord bless us all. May Lord bless all beings. May Lord bless you all. <coughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.